Um, it's a pretty good question there, but I mean, the role in the side's pretty clear for me, and that's just to to not really change the way I've been playing so far in the in the home season in in Sheffield Shield cricket, and to go out there, and I've got a big role to play with the bat, and also got a big role to play with the ball. So, um, you know, it's, it, the role's clear to me, but um, I see it as a genuine all-rounder's role, and to go in and do as much as I can with both bat and ball. Well, uh, I'm not really sure. I obviously haven't never really played four or five day cricket here in Chennai before, so um, you know I leave those decisions to the to the people who make them, and you got to back them to make the right decisions. Um, I'm just very happy to be a part of the part of the four four prong quick attack, and and very keen to get out there and contribute to hopefully an Australian win. Yeah, I mean, that's. I was aware of the conditions um, and, you know, I've got some plans in place to go out there and, and, try, and, and try and combat that. But, you know, you, you, it's all well and good to talk about it here, but it's about once you get out there in the middle and, and how you execute those plans. So, you know, I guess uh, there's not much point of doing too much talking and just wait till, you know, you get out there in the, in the moment into the match and, and then hopefully, you know, the plans I've thought about can be executed. Yeah, absolutely. There's a lot of mental vi visionary and, you know, things like that that you have to prepare yourself for and some plans to put in place. Um, they're, they're all part of, you know, uh, you know, I guess watching the footage and things like that. I kept a very close eye on the India-England test series over here that was, uh, that was done recently. So, um, you know, seeing what worked over here, what didn't work and things like that is obviously you've got you, you to see and look at the history and look at the past and see what works and what doesn't. Uh, you know, I just felt like to try and to almost try and put the pressure back on a little bit at that point in the at that point in time was the first thing in the morning and um, you know, I, I, that was just what I thought was the right thing to do at that stage. Unfortunately, I missed out on a pretty good opportunity there um, after getting a bit of a start, but I mean, that's the way it goes. Uh, there's a lot of people I'd like to thank, and but um, I think it's probably not really the time to do it. And um, you know, I'm still very speechless about everything and lost for words. So I, I think I've missed way too many people, but obviously my, my family, my mum and my dad and my two younger brothers have been a massive, a, a lot of support for me while growing up. I think every player has a very important role to play. Every batsman has a very important role to play. Um, otherwise, they wouldn't be in the side. But um, as you said, it is going to be extremely important. I think the openers have a extremely important role to play to you know get us off to, or get the team off to good starts. And then obviously the guys in the middle order when it's probably going to be at its toughest when um, the ball might be reverse swinging or the the spin bowlers might be you know, turning the ball and um, they'll have catches around the bat. So it's going to be very important for the guys in the middle order to start well as well. Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's always, as you said, there's always talk of it, but once you get out into the middle, it's, it's a little bit different. Obviously, the, the, exhaust, the exhaustion and the energy it takes out of the bowls to keep repeating those types of things. But... Um, you know, the, we've got some pretty fit bowlers and some, obviously, with the, with the quicks that we've gone in with, um, uh, it's, that, that's, I mean, that's the strength of this side, I think, is, to, is the quicks with um, James Pattinson and Mitch Stark and Peter Siddle. There's some three very fiery quicks there. So, I mean, that's, the, I think, the Australian team's strength and they have to, we have to play to that strength. Um, it wasn't something I've always done. When I was younger, I was a bit more of a tearaway to come in and try and bowl as fast as I could all the time. But um, having suffered a lot of injuries growing up um, when I was a lot younger, I had to adapt and, and change the way I bowled because my body just couldn't handle that. So I, I certainly bowl a lot more within myself now and, and try to challenge the batsman with my lengths and hopefully get some, um, you know, Consistent, consistent lengths, and gets hopefully get some movement with some reverse swing. And I think that's something that Shane obviously does very well. Is his length is impeccable, and and bowls you know very good with an old ball as well. 
Um, I think so. Obviously, um, with, with only having Nathan Lyon, we do have a couple of part-time spin options there. But I think um, the most important thing is, obviously, with going in with the three quicks and myself, is that we play to our strengths and, um, you know, we, the quicks are going to be, or the ones there that are, are going to be looked upon to take the wickets. Uh, look, I've I've been lucky enough to play against a lot of the batsmen, uh, Pajara and Coley, growing up, and and seen them play a lot. And um, I've the utmost respect for these guys, and I think they're fantastic cricketers. So there's no way that any any of the Australian bowls or anyone in the Australian team will be underestimating how good some of the cricketers are in this Indian team. Yeah, I mean, obviously having those guys around you is, um, is, a, is a lot of help and it's very good to have people like that in your team. And, and someone like Peter Siddle is obviously, um, you know, he's a guy you want in your side. He'll run in for you all day and he inspires the people around him and he inspires, you know, the other bowlers to keep doing the same thing. And, and that's just the type of person he is. And everyone, you know, everyone that watches him grows a little bit as well with what he does. So... Um, you know, it's, having someone like that in your team is obviously is obviously very good, and it rubs off on everyone else. Thanks, everyone.